Similar to a shark, a submarine creeps below the surface of the sea and attacks its enemy with brutal force. The ones on this list today are some of the most powerful, the most well-equipped, and the most lethal if you're on the wrong end of one. From submarines filled to the max with cruise missiles, to nuclear subs equipped with thermonuclear weapons, here are the deadliest submarines. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. Number 13, Yasin Class Submarine. This class of submarine brings some serious competition to the Americans, and each one weighs 13,800 tons. They are most likely the heaviest submarine in the world and carry an astonishing 38 cruise missiles which are vertically launched from the top of the sub. Utilizing nuclear power, that means this thing can stand under water for months, only needing to resurface for more food. Don't forget about the 38 torpedoes on board, capable of sinking enemy submarines and naval ships. It requires 90 men to operate, which isn't that much considering its size. The US Navy intelligence has claimed that this submarine is very quiet and the least detectable that they've encountered, but still not quite as good as ours though. Number 12. The Soryu Class Submarine Constructed by Kawasaki and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, this Japanese submarine uses diesel and electric power to get around. It's the largest class of submarine built by the Japanese post WW2, but we're sure that they could have made it bigger if they were allowed to. This class of submarine is fairly new compared to some on this list, but they've been around since 2005 to the present. Similar to your Samsung smartphone, this sub uses lithium-ion batteries which have almost double the storage of energy than traditional lead-acid batteries. This has allowed for increased underwater endurance, but still nowhere near the ability of a nuclear-powered submarine. Since Japan is no longer allowed to have an offensive military after what we saw at Pearl Harbor, they're gonna have to recharge their submarines. Nonetheless, they're still equipped with some cool stuff like harpoon missiles, torpedoes, and tubes for launching underwater mines. Number 11. X-Class British Submarines The British X-Class was designed in secrecy by the Royal Navy and were tested at a training base in Scotland called the Isle of Lewis. This submarine was only 52 feet long and could remain at sea for days until the crew ran out of food or needed some fresh air finally. A four-man crew would normally have been able to reach a maximum range of 1,200 miles and reach a depth of about 300 feet. The periscope was small and unreliable to say the least. The hatch that was built to get in and out of proved to be a lethal design because more were needed to escape quickly and effectively. However, these would prove to be useful in battles across the North Sea against the Germans. Number 10. The U.S. Sea Wolf a fleet of 12 submarines of the Sea Wolf class were constructed in order to combat the Soviet ballistic missile submarines that we'll get to later on in this video. It was an upgrade from the Los Angeles class submarine, making it larger, faster, and quicker than before. You better believe that this wolf is out for blood and no place is off limits. Despite the US Navy not having a great presence in the Arctic Sea, this nuclear submarine called the Sea Wolf can spend months below the ice and then surface near the North Pole. This photo here shows a sea wolf doing just that, with some crew on the deck getting a breath of chilly fresh air. Its limitless range makes it perfect for exploring the deep oceans and it really only needs to be docked in order to re-up on supplies. Number 9. The Bore Class Submarine Another Russian submarine makes our list today, and this one is currently in service for their navy. It's classified as a nuclear-powered ballistic missile attack submarine and it was constructed by the company known as Sevmash. Despite replacing many of the Soviet Union's older designs, the Bore class still holds less people, a crew of 107 maximum. The first vessel was constructed in 1996, and changes were made to be able to launch various missiles. It can reach a speed of 35 miles an hour underwater and is equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes, but that's not all. They also got multiple independent target re-entry vehicles, which contain multiple warheads. Using a cluster of small warheads is capable of more destruction than one large mega warhead, in case you didn't know. The Bore class seems to get a lot of bang for its buck in comparison to the US submarines. Number 8. The Astu class submarine The Astu class submarine is the latest nuclear submarine addition to the Royal Navy. Constructed by Bay Systems, this massive submarine was declared as fully operational as of May 2014. They were made to replace the old Trafalgar class submarine, and they made plenty of upgrades in order to make them some of the most deadliest fish in the sea. The S2 class has room for 38 weapons, including spearfish heavy torpedoes and Tomahawk cruise missiles. The main issue, however, was the speed not being able to go over 35 miles an hour. Bay had promised that it could, but the reactor turbine needed some fine tuning. Eventually, it would be able to reach the speed. As of right now, only three of these have been constructed, but they're planning on building seven total. 
Number 7. Japanese Kamikaze Subs During WW2, the Japanese use a form of warfare technique such as the Kamikaze Airplanes. But did you know that they had submarines as well? The Shinyo boats were basically human manned torpedoes known as Kaiten Torpedoes. This literally translated to Kaiten or the Return to Heaven. The Japanese soldiers would much rather die in battle than surrender to the Americans. These were put to use and carried 3,420 tons of explosives and to add to that, they were fueled with diesel, making them even more deadly. Although they did have trouble supplying oxygen to the pilots, they were able to design more efficient models which were able to be successful in sinking American ships. Number 6. The Los Angeles Class Considered to be one of the fastest subs on this list, the top speed is technically classified. Some rumors have reported that it can reach a top speed of 45 miles an hour, which would be pretty fast for a sub of its size. This class of submarine has been around since 1976 and is still currently in use. They made many upgrades to keep them relevant in modern warfare. Officially capable of going about 650 feet underwater, others claim it can go as deep as 950 feet, but the US Navy wants to keep their enemies out of the loop with all these true capabilities. Some of its arsenal includes Tomahawk land attack missiles, anti-ship missiles, MK-48 torpedoes, and other explosives that sink down people's battleships. Number 5. Ohio-class submarine These subs were originally designed to hold an arsenal of ICBMs, and they were highly classified. In 2002 to 2008, the Navy decided that it might be a little bit more conventional if they held on to cruise missiles instead. The conversion of some of these submarines took place in 2006, and you better believe it can pack some serious heat. Each Ohio-class submarine is capable of carrying 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles, which can definitely do some damage. On board, there's enough space to fit 15 officers and 140 enlisted people. There are currently 18 active Ohio-class submarines in the U.S.'s fleet. Number 4. The Typhoon-class submarine The Typhoon is the biggest active submarine that can displace 48,000 tons of water. It measures 175 meters long, or 574 feet. While other subs may have to worry about running out of fuel at some point, crew members here can stay on board for 120 days at a time. It's also designed to travel under ice and then literally break the ice above it. It carries 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles and are all armed with nuclear warheads. If that didn't seem like enough firepower for you, it also has four torpedo tubes with a total of 22 anti-submarine missiles. These tubes can also be used to launch mines. We need to try our best not to get Russia mad at us, people. They take their submarines very seriously. Number 3. Virginia-class submarines This class of submarine is really in a class of its own. It's expected to remain in service for at least the next 43 years. Each one is crafted carefully, which requires an estimated 9 million labor hours for construction of a single Virginia-class submarine. These are supposed to be America's most advanced series of submarines to this date, and they plan to build another 35 of these. You can imagine that these would be expensive to construct, considering that there's a nuclear reactor on board. There's also several new features that have never been seen before on U.S. submarines. This includes new sonar systems, accurate cruise missile firing systems, pump jet propulsion, and also improved gear for the crew to save them in case it sinks. Many have called it the Ferrari of submarines, and only the best trained submariners will get the chance to ride on it. Cost per submarine, 2.5 billion. Number 2. Trident 2 Missiles Let's go ahead and talk about some of these missiles really quick, people. We briefly mentioned how Virginia-class subs had the capabilities of launching cruise missiles. You could have probably guessed that for yourself, but keep in mind, those cruise missiles are pretty pricey. You don't even want to know how much each cruise missile costs. Luckily, Americans and the British Navy are splitting some of the research costs. The reason they're so expensive is basically because they're pinpoint accurate from using GPS. They can also be launched from underwater, carry warheads, and have a range of 4,500 miles. Not only that, but each can travel at speeds of 18,000 miles per hour. Each one costs roughly $37 million each. But keep in mind, there are some videos out there of destroyers launching cruise missiles like a semi-automatic machine gun. If you combine the spending from both the UK and the US on this missile, it adds up to about $53 billion. And before we get to our number one, we want to hear from you guys. Do you think a submarine would be a good choice during the zombie apocalypse? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, the Chinese super submarines. Researchers in this country have claimed to have created a submarine which can travel at fast speeds of 3,000 miles per hour. That means it can cross the Pacific in just under two hours. Apparently, it works by using what's known as super captivation, which was first developed by the Soviets in the 1960s. Now the Chinese have claimed to have perfected the technology, and it's got some missiles on board. Those submarines can do some serious damage in a hurry. The United States denies any possibility of this ever being able to happen. You'd have to imagine someone getting a little bit seasick after getting one of those submarines. 
Norman Friedman, an expert at the U.S. Naval Institute, claims that the Chinese are completely ludicrous beyond words. But it certainly seems like we'd have a lot more to lose if we were wrong. Do you guys think these submarines could actually exist? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.